Are you considering a move to Anthem, Arizona? Congratulations! This is an exciting and maybe even a little bit scary time for you, especially if you're moving from out of state. We might be totally biased, but we absolutely love living, working, and playing in Anthem. Our hope is that you love it as much as we do, and that starts with making your home purchase as smooth as possible. Aside from our own home purchases in Anthem, we've been helping buyers just like you in their journey to call Anthem home for years. Needless to say, over the years, we've learned what works, what doesn't, and how to get our clients into the homes they love. So today, we decided that it was time to share our best tips for buying a home in Anthem with you. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back and for spending your time with me. My name is Lindsay and I'm a proud Anthem resident and your local realtor with the Wise Move AZ team at Realty One Group. On this channel, we have a lot of fun talking about all things Anthem and real estate every single Thursday, and we absolutely love having you along for the ride. If you've been following our channel for a while, you know that we absolutely love Anthem and that we have a whole catalog of videos designed to help people moving into and out of our fabulous community. If this is your first time on our channel, I encourage you to check out our Anthem playlist. This video is just one of many that can have you heading into the moving process with confidence. I'll link to that playlist in the cards for this video. You might be thinking, isn't buying an Anthem the same as buying anywhere else in the Phoenix metro area? While the process may be very similar, there are a few distinct differences we want you to consider, and there are some things that we want to bring to your attention. Number one, build your team. The first step to setting yourself up for success is building a kick butt team of professionals who will keep your best interest interest front and center the whole time. When you're moving, you have a lot going on and you can't do it all. Your team will consist of your realtor, your lender, unless you're paying cash, your inspectors, and your title and escrow company. The goal is to build a team that you can trust. After all, a home is one of the biggest purchases we make period. My best advice when it comes to assembling your team is to find local experts. You deserve an agent who knows Anthem inside and out and is in the community every day. Anthem has some quirky things about it when it comes to buying a home that agents who don't work here regularly may not know about. You deserve a lender who knows all of the deadlines, forms, loan programs and steps without you even asking. You deserve an inspector who has so much experience with Anthem Homes that they know exactly what to look for. We would love to be considered when you start assembling your team and we would be more than happy to share our list of local lenders and inspectors to help make that search a little bit easier. If you would like more information on what it's like to work with us, send us an email at team at wisemoveaz.com and we can set up a time to chat. Number two, choose your areas. All right, now that you've got an awesome team together, it's time to narrow down where you wanna live. Although Anthem isn't huge, it still has several different areas each with their own unique features that make them special places to call home. If you're open to living anywhere in Anthem, that's great. But for many people, they're drawn to a particular area or areas because of their lifestyle and wants in a home. I actually did a whole video breaking down all of the different areas within Anthem, and I'll link to that in the cards for this video and also in the description box below. The different areas within Anthem include Anthem Country Club, Anthem Parkside East, Anthem Parkside West, The Landings, The Village, Paseo, Circle Mountain Ranch, and Arroyo Grande. Given the limited inventory in Anthem, the more open you can keep your options, the better. I think it's really important to drive around all of the different areas so that you can get a feel for them. One of our favorite things to do with our buyers is to tour them around all of the amenities and possibly even stop off at some of the local businesses to really get a feel for life in Anthem. If you'd like more information on the HOA fees in the different areas of Anthem, click the link in the description box below to download our free guide. Number three, don't get too hung up on specific locations. Sometimes when we're talking to clients who are moving from out of state, they'll say things like, oh, we really wanna be close to the community center 
or we'd really like to live on this specific street. This type of thinking can really limit your options. I always like to dig a little bit deeper into those requests with my clients so that I can get to the core of what they're really looking for. Anthem isn't very big. It's less than 10 square miles. So truth be told, everything is pretty close to the community center and in the summer it gets so hot that you're probably gonna drive almost everywhere anyways when it comes to liking particular streets i like to tour my clients around in person so that they can see firsthand that because anthem is a master planned community there's a lot of uniformity in most cases the streets within a certain area all have a very similar look and feel in my opinion it's best to narrow your search down to a certain area like anthem Parkside, for example, rather than further narrowing it down by particular streets. If we're waiting for a home to come up for sale on a particular street, we may be waiting longer than you'd like. Don't get too hung up on a specific location too early in your search. Number four, don't fixate on floor plans. One of the nice things about Anthem being a relatively new master plan community is that we can often get you a copy of the builder's floor plan. This is particularly helpful if you're shopping for your Anthem home from afar. That being said, I want to caution you not to get too hung up on specific floor plans. It's great to know if you like a certain floor plan or even to have a handful of floor plans that would work for you. If you get too focused on a particular floor plan, you may miss out on some really great homes that would otherwise work perfectly for your family. The other thing to know about floor plans in Anthem is that there are a lot of them. Some of the floor plans will be very similar, but have different names. In some cases, this is because Dell Webb made slight modifications to the plan as the community was being built out. Additionally, while there may be some similar floor plans in Anthem Country Club to those in Anthem Parkside, know that they're not exactly the same. For example, if you fall in love with a floor plan in Anthem Parkside, but you really want to live in Anthem Country Club, know that you won't be able to find that exact same layout inside the Country Club. Additionally, not all floor plans were built in equal numbers. This means that some will be very common, while others will be really rare with only a handful ever being built. Anyways, this is a long way of saying that it's worth looking at floor plans, but I strongly encourage you to keep an open mind when it comes to exploring different layouts. Number five, get comfortable with your wants versus needs. Okay, this is probably true anywhere you're buying, but with the limited inventory in Anthem, it becomes even more important. Before you get too far in your search, Sit down and think about what you want in your future home versus what you need in your future home. The needs are your non-negotiables, while your wants are the things that are nice to have. Think about things like size, number of levels, number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, whether you want a pool, or how many garage spaces you need. Oftentimes we find that pool versus no pool is the hardest decision. If you're struggling with this one, you may wanna click and watch this video where we share the top things that you need to consider when deciding whether or not you want to have a pool. Communicate your wants and needs to your agent so that they can start narrowing down properties that might be a good fit. Your agent, as long as they're familiar with Anthem, will also be able to tell you if you're looking for something that doesn't exist. Number six, be ready to act quickly. I've mentioned a couple of times already that we have an inventory shortage in Anthem. It won't always be this way because real estate ebbs and flows, but for now, we don't have as much supply as we would like. Unfortunately for buyers, this means that you need to be ready to act quickly if a home you love hits the market. So how do you do that? Number one, have your team on standby. Make sure that you have your team ready to go. This includes your realtor and your lender. If you wait until you see a house you love on Zillow to start reaching out, it could be too late. Number two, have a game plan. For example, for our clients who are shopping for homes from out of state, we're able to do virtual tours of properties that hit the market 
And because we live in Anthem, we're usually able to get them done really quickly. Work with your realtor to decide what the plan will be when a home you're interested in hits the market. Number three, have a pre-qualification letter ready. In Arizona, we're required to deliver a pre-qualification letter with any offer to purchase. Lenders need a little bit of time and information from you, so don't leave it to the last second to put this together. If you're paying cash, you'll need proof of funds available at the time of offering. Number four, do your research. I strongly recommend that you read through the buyer advisory before you even start looking at homes in Arizona. This document is a wealth of information when it comes to things you should look out for and research when buying a home. We have a whole video dedicated to the buyer advisory, so I encourage you to check that out by clicking in the cards for this video. Together, all of these things will put you in a good spot to move quickly when the right house hits the market. Number seven, be patient. We always joke that listings seem to come in waves in Anthem. We'll go through stretches where there is very little hitting the market, and then we'll go through equal stretches where there's a flood of new inventory. Be patient. The right house will come up at the right time. Number eight, know your timeline. Know your timeline and watch the market accordingly. If you're a year out from moving, I recommend that we only send you weekly updates on listings. Once you're actually ready to move, we can increase that to daily or even instant updates. The reason I say this is because you can drive yourself crazy. Seeing how quickly some homes go and how long others sit can create an emotional roller coaster. This can be exhausting if you're not ready to move. It's good to keep an eye on the market until you're ready, but don't inundate yourself. Number nine, don't see too many homes in one day. Once you're ready to start looking at homes in person, don't see too many homes in one day. We joke that they all start to look the same if you see too many. But seriously, because Anthem is a master plan community and most of the homes were built by Dell Webb, they do have a very similar look and feel. We want you to be able to remember each house clearly. So it's usually better to spread out your tour over a couple of days rather than trying to cram 14 houses into one afternoon. Number 10, get to know the community. If you're planning to move to Anthem, take time to fall in love with the community while you're here. If you spend the morning touring homes, take the afternoon to sit in the park, grab dinner at one of our amazing local restaurants and get to know the neighbors. So there you have it. I hope this video has empowered you to make your move to Anthem with confidence. If you'd like to download our copy of the HOA fee guide for Anthem, click the link in the description box below. Also, if you'd like to learn more about working with us, send us an email at team at wisemoveaz.com. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel, and leaving me a comment. Lastly, if you'd like to learn more about the different areas within Anthem, click to watch this video up top, or if you'll be starting your house search from afar, click to watch this video on the bottom where we share our best tips for virtual house hunting. Enjoy those and I'll see you next Thursday.